In this video, I'm going to be talking about what is Dino, how it is different from Node.js, and uh, we are going to be building three different applications with Dino. Very simple one, nothing too complex, just a basic introduction, so you kind of get the idea behind this, you know, new JavaScript runtime. So first of all, let's go to Dino.land. That is the actual, you know, official site for Dino. And as you can see, Dino is a secure runtime for JavaScript and TypeScript. If you go to Node.js, as you can see, Node.js is also a JavaScript runtime built on Chrome V8 JavaScript engine. And the case with Dino is quite similar. It is also built on V8 Chrome engine, but the difference is Node.js was built 10 years ago with JavaScript and C++, whereas Dino is built with TypeScript and Rust. So there's a like huge difference here. It, it is built with Rust and TypeScript, and the TypeScript support is built in. So uh, one of the focus in the Dino community or the idea behind Dino is that it is secure by default. So what happens is Dino is actually like your web browser. And it is like a command line interface for your web browser that you can run inside your you know, terminal or a server. But it is secure by default. It is not like Node. Like in Node, uh, every file can, uh, any file or any CLI can do basically anything. Whereas in Dino, you have to actually tell or allow specific permissions for this sandbox so it can access things out of that sandbox. You know, everything in Dino, actually runs inside of a sandbox and that sandbox has no access to anything except itself unless until you specify it. For example, there's no file or network or environment access unless explicitly enabled. And it supports TypeScript out of the box. Like you don't even have to write any TypeScript configuration file, but if you want to customize it, for example, I think Dino comes with strict uh, you know, checking enable. If you want to customize it, you can definitely do that, but you can just go ahead and start writing TypeScript without having to, you know, write any uh, configuration file or whatnot. And Dino basically ships as a single executable file. I know that this feels a bit odd, but that is a new concept here. And uh, similar to many awesome, you know, new languages like Golang, it is, uh, I, I feel like it is similar to Golang in a couple of features, like it has a, you know, dependency inspector where you can use Dino info to check the dependencies. And then it has a code formatter, just like Golang has. You can, you, you don't really need any, you know, code formatters like pretty or anything. It, it has a built-in code formatter, Dino FMT. And again, uh, similar to, you know, uh, Golang and other, uh, you know, native programming languages, Dino actually comes with a standard library that has a couple of really good functions in it. So you don't have to rely on any third party, but you can if you want to. 